Welcome to St Peter's online service. Uh, this week it's an Eco Church uh, Sunday, uh, themed as that, and it follows uh, Thursday, which is when this has been recorded, uh, which internationally is being called Earth Day, at caring uh, for the earth. So we live in a wonderful world. Uh, Psalm 104, the message version goes like this at one point. What a wildly wonderful world, God. You made it all with wisdom at your side. Made the earth overflow with your wonderful creatures. Oh, look. The wide, deep sea, brimming with fish, past counting, sardines, sharks, salmon. Let God enjoy his creation. Now, Psalm 104 shares how God made everything and everything to thrive together for the world to bring us joy and to bring God joy. So I encourage you, why not make every day a day of worshipping God who made the world that we live in? And why not make today a day where we worship and thank God for all the beauty that surrounds us? Today, I'm going to focus just on oceans. And here's a blow up globe. And I can point out three oceans. So up here in pink is Britain. Uh, and over here is North and South America. And in between is the Atlantic Ocean. Let's have a look. All the blue, of course, is sea as on a weather map uh, between North and South America and all of the Far East and Australia is the Pacific Ocean. And then we go round a bit further and then below India, beside Africa, we've got the Indian Ocean. What amazing world. And I wonder if you can think of what creatures there are in the ocean. If you're with others watching this, why not just call out uh, different creatures? Whale? Shark? Octopus? Dolphin. And then there are all those different uh, fish. And when you go to the chip shop, uh, you can be reminded of different sort of fish that there are. So there's cod, haddock, bass, fish fingers. No, 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 not fish fingers. So, uh, and then above the sea, you've got these glorious seabirds. Oh, what a wonderful world. And um, we often sing <clears throat> that song. I wonder if you join in with me. He's got the whole world in his hands. He's got the whole wide world in his hands. He's got the whole wide world in his hands. He's got the whole world in his hands. Let's think about a creation uh, creature. He's got the great big whale in his hands. He's got the great big whale in his hands. He's got the great big whale in his hands. He's got the whole world in his hands. Bit of a tongue twister this time. He's got the squishy jelly fishy in his hands. He's got the squishy jelly fishy in his hands. He's got the squishy jelly fishy in his hands. He's got the whole world in his hands. 
I'm not too fond of seagulls at times. I think they fly magnificently, but God made them, so we'll sing about them. <clears throat> He's got the very noisy seagull ouch, in his hand. He's got the very noisy seagull in his hand. Ow! He's got the very noisy seagull in his hand. Ouch, stop it. He's got the whole world in his hands. Well, let's begin with a prayer. Thank you, dear God, creator God, for your wonderful world. For you made the world and everything is yours. So we're sorry for the ways that humans uh, and us have spoilt it and the ways in which we don't care for it. Help us to love you, to love our neighbour and to love and care for our world, which is our home for all the people, all the animals and all the plants. Amen. Now it's time to sing about seeing things from God's point of view as we join in, yeah, singing out loud or singing our hearts to the song, Be Thou My Vision.
We're now going to hear a short Bible reading, which I'm going to read twice through. The first time, you may like to imagine the scene and the creatures. When I read it for the second time, you might like to mime the creatures or just delight in what God has made. The reading is from the message version of the Bible. Genesis chapter 1, verses 20 to 23. God spoke. Swarm, ocean, with fish and all sea life. Birds fly through the sky over the earth. God created the huge whales, all the swarm of life in the waters, and every kind of species of flying birds. God saw that it was good. God blessed them. Prosper, reproduce, fill ocean. Birds reproduce on earth. It was evening, it was morning, day five. And for the second time of reading, God spoke, swarm ocean with fish and all sea life. Birds fly through the sky over the earth. God created the huge whales, all the swarm of life in the waters, and every kind of species of flying birds. God saw that it was good. God blessed them. Prosper, reproduce, fill ocean. Birds reproduce on earth. It was evening. It was morning, day five. Well, what a lovely, lovely reading. And it's so often good to read twice and then you find things just come out. And there are so many parts of scripture that celebrate the wonderful world in which we live. And to remind you, we're thinking about oceans. And um, here's above the ocean, you often will see, and at the edge of the sea, uh, the seagull. They're extraordinary. They're beautiful uh, creatures, really. And, um, you know, their, their flight is extraordinary. And there are so many wonderful birds uh, to see around by the sea. We don't have them in this country, but uh, the turtle, um, you know, they're, they're so beautiful and so lovely. Uh, this is uh, a seal, and uh, I'm very grateful for the person who coloured it in. Uh, and all of these lovely creatures uh, can be in danger through plastic. And I'm thinking about oceans and plastic. So take, for example, a straw. Uh, Straws often end up in the sea. And I was watching an Attenborough programme where in the sea, they were looking at all sorts of fish and so on. And within almost all the fish that they looked in, there were elements of plastic which the creatures had taken. So, for example, uh, with um, a turtle, if it swallows um, a straw as it's just going and they open their mouths as they go along to take their food, that goes into its stomach and can create uh, all sorts of problems and it can actually kill them. And uh, it's the same uh, with uh, seals and whatever creature we're talking about. Um, I've got some good uh, gardening uh, plastic string, really. 
Um, but it's it, it doesn't decompose. And so these little bits, you know, they can get down into water, flow into the sea. And these get uh, like straws, uh, get into um, the creatures. And I was really sad to hear that when um, restrictions were slightly released, loads of people went down to Formby Beach and, and the mess that was left was huge. And so much plastic left. And people not thinking that when the tide comes out, it takes rubbish out, that then creatures uh, either swallow <clears throat> uh, or uh, get caught round. And uh, one holiday, uh, we went to Northumbria and I just picked up, I did some beach combing and I decided to celebrate in a collage uh, things that I've found along the beach. It was just fun uh, to do. So lovely bits of wood uh, carved by uh, the motion of the sea and the same with pebbles. But you'll notice that there are bits of rope and netting. And these are the very things like um, beer can... Um, sort of things that hold them together, <laughs> uh, those can get round uh, the necks of a seabird or round a fish and so on and uh, damage them, if not uh, kill them. So we really need to be thinking about how we have an effect and uh, at a previous service, <clears throat> I talked about uh, three R's. So remember the three R's, reduce, reuse, recycle. And we've kept uh, repeating those. So reduce. It may be that uh, we give up using plastic straws. And um, if we find that we're offered a plastic straw, we uh, refuse that. Um, many of us now uh, don't get plastic bags from shops. We take our own cloth uh, bag. So that's reduce. Reduce the amount of plastic. <clears throat> uh, reuse. Uh, there are ways that we need to think about how we uh, reuse the plastic. And um, our eco youth group uh, showed us a brilliant example at doing eco bricks. And thank you, eco youth group, uh, for leading on that. And look forward to uh, showing it on screen and in church uh, the results of what you've done. Please let us know. And then uh, recycle. <clears throat> um, it's thrilling that. Um, we have so much recycling that goes on. So this is an encouragement to keep recycling and wherever possible, not just put in the household rubbish, uh, purple bin, things that we can put in the blue bins and uh, know that that plastic paper card and so on uh, can be recycled. <clears throat> but what about uh, a difference we can make? Uh, I loved hearing the story of a five-year-old girl called Ava, who no doubt with the help of her uh, family, wrote to Pizza Express and told them that plastic straws were bad for animals getting stuck in their mouths and noses. And Pizza Hut, I'm informed, uh, have agreed to stop using straws. Wow, what a difference that child has made. So the challenge is, what can we do to make a difference? Maybe uh, some of you on A4 uh, would <clears throat> um, like to do uh, a poster 
about the three R's. There we are. Maybe uh, you might even uh, want to do a picture celebrating uh, the animals, uh, the fish in the sea. Or you might want to do one as a warning to us with a, a, an animal caught up in some netting or some plastic. Uh, and in that way, you might even want to write a prayer saying, Lord, help us to look after your creatures or your world. But you'll find uh, your own words or turn to Psalm 104 and uh, maybe find some words from there or from our Bible reading today. Well, we've come to the end of uh, today's sharing about caring for God's world. So St Peter's, let's be on a mission. Let's be on a mission to care for God's world. And as Thursday um, was Earth Day, Let's think of something to do to care for God's world this week. Let us pray. A mustard seed, small enough to hold in the palm of your hand. Yet Jesus tells us that this precious little seed is like the kingdom of heaven. We ask the Lord our God to open our eyes to the wonders of creation. And we offer our hearts in hope that all things may flourish. We pray for the church, that the Holy Spirit may breathe compassion and courage into the hearts of all God's people. May we walk alongside all those who are vulnerable and respond in love to their needs. We remember those in any kind of difficulty those who are not well, and all those who are sad. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for the world, our common home, that through God's grace we may recognise that we are all part of a fragile balance. May we hear the earth's cry and be moved to protect it for future generations. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for world leaders, that the Lord may move them to act with respect and urgency for the sake of the earth and the most vulnerable. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for those who are already struggling in the face of increasing droughts floods and storms, and for all who are working to tackle the climate emergency. May God grant us all hope and strength for the future. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for our parish and our local community as we begin to rebuild following coronavirus. Through the grace of God, may we choose lifestyles that do not negatively impact our vulnerable brothers and sisters or the earth. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We ask these prayers through our Lord Jesus Christ, Redeemer of all. We gather all our prayers together by joining in saying the family prayer. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. You put the 
stars in outer space You pop the freckles on my face And all the fish that swim and all the birds that fly Were made from your incredible imagination Creator God, we sing into the Creator God of all the world Creator God, we celebrate you Celebrate you. He spread the ripples through the sea. He painted stripes on every bee. And all the grass that grows and all the leaves that fall are part of your amazing plans for this creation. Creator God, we sing into the Creator God of all the world. God, we celebrate you. We celebrate you. He put the heat into the sun. He placed a heart in everyone. And all the music played and all the dancing done Reminds us that we're made to be created like Creator God We sing into the Creator God of all the world Creator God to celebrate you Creator God We sing into the Creator God of all the world Creator God we celebrate you We sing into the Creator God of all the world. Creator God, we celebrate you. Creator God, we sing into the Creator God of all the world. Creator God, we celebrate you. Creator God, we sing into the Creator God of all the world, Creator God, we celebrate you, we celebrate you. So thank you so much for joining us uh, this Sunday. And it's lovely that at the same time as having the online service, uh, increasing numbers are going back to church. But we hope that by our provision of the online service as well, um, that those of you who don't feel ready uh, to do that, that you feel cared for and have uh, a place to join in the worship of God's people at St Peter's. So God bless you. Uh, two notices to share. <clears throat> uh, next uh, Sunday, ahead of Christian Aid Week, uh, which runs from the 10th to the 16th of May, uh, we will be focusing on Christian Aid. Uh, on the church website, there are details of how uh, we uh, can support Christian Aid this year. Uh, have a look at my latest pastoral letter, which gives ideas and details as well. I'm just thrilled at, the, at St Peter's. Uh, we don't only care for ourselves, but we seek to care for our neighbour, and particularly our poor neighbours. <clears throat> and finally, uh, Sue and I have been part of St Peter's for almost 18 years and it's been a, a wonderful journey uh, with so many amazing experiences, highs and lows, travelling with really remarkable people of all ages. And today I'm formally announcing that Sunday the 17th of October 
will be our last Sunday at St Peter's uh, as we will be retiring then. Um, I know, I look too young for it. Uh, Many of you will know already, but I wanted to uh, ensure that as many of you uh, as possible hear it directly uh, from me. Of course, there'll be plenty of opportunity uh, during the next six months to reflect, uh, celebrate, remember, and uh, uh, to look forward uh, because God has a plan, a purpose, and uh, uh, so much to look forward to in uh, the future. But for now, I want to thank God for his faithfulness towards all of us at St Peter's and ask you to join me and Sue in praying for the church's journey ahead. And now a prayer of blessing. May God the Father who created the world give us grace and discipline to care for God's creation. God the Son, who redeemed the world, inspire us to share the good news in word and action. And may God the Holy Spirit, whose breath fills creation, help us to bear his fruits of love, joy and peace. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be upon you and all those you love, and all who love you, this day and forevermore. Amen. Well, I said at the beginning, I think, that um, this is recorded on Thursday, Earth Day, and all the world uh, are being encouraged to think about care of the creation. So as a carry-on from Thursday, Earth Day, I want to say Happy Earth Sunday, and let's encourage each other to do something to help our beautiful planet today. God bless. Lectio 365 is a free app that will help you engage with the Bible and transform your prayer life. Just take 10 minutes every morning before you start the day to pray. P. Pause to be still. R. Rejoice with a psalm and reflect on a Bible passage. A. Ask God to help you. Y. Yield to his will in your life. This approach is used to explore different themes, such as why does God not answer prayer or the Beatitudes. It is inspired by Lectio Divina, a way of meditating on the Bible that's been used by Christians for centuries. You can read it or listen to it on the go. Download it today from App Store or Google Play. You won't be disappointed.